let's start with just taking a look at the file as it is. We can see this has overlaps on either side, and this is actually just one half of the two video streams. PLC is a bit buggy, so let's just go ahead and strip those two out with FFmpeg. This will make two different files from track 0 and 5. Now let's take a look at them. We'll see this first one's the same since it defaults to track 0. Same overlaps. And here is track 5. The other half of the stream also has overlaps. Now we'll use FFmpeg to combine the two videos vertically and then pass it through the V360 filter to convert from EAC to echo rectangular, which in theory will let us use this in DaVinci Resolve. We'll speed this part up. Afterwards, we'll open it in VLC. And we can see this has been converted to some sort of magical V360 format. Now we'll open it in DaVinci Resolve. We'll be using the 360 plugin from Carta. If interested, I can put up a guide, but there is quite a few on the internet. You go in, you search for it, add it to your node, and this will give us pitch, yaw, roll, and field of view. Pretty quickly, you can see this is not usable. There's a clear overlap and issue with the video. If we start playing the video, you can see that it's completely unusable. This is actually due to the overlaps I showed in the beginning. It makes it not quite EAC, which means that the standard conversions will not work. For comparison, here is the exported Cineform you can make with the Windows GoPro tool. We'll add the same 360 filter and you'll be able to see there's no stitch line or overlap. It's a very clean, nice picture, and you can reframe it very easily. A short clip of me falling down to show no issues. The logical thing would have been to use the Windows GoPro app. Instead, I tried to use FFmpeg to do the conversion in Linux. I came up with a poor man's algorithm to blend on the overlaps and applied that on each of the four corners and stitched together a final video and then ran it through that first filter converting EAC to echo rectangular and added the metadata for VLC. Let's change this to only encode 1500 frames and we can generate an example movie. Let's open it in VLC and we can see that we can zoom out and look around and play it forward a bit and it's a working video. I'll bring it into DaVinci Resolve, bring it down the timeline, go into Fusion, add the 360 filter like before, and now we'll show the different pitch, yaw, roll, field of view, and a bit of the video. It's not perfect as far as the axis are concerned, but you can still manipulate and don't see any clear stitch line. A short montage showing the original unedited, the official GoPro, and the FFmpeg generated from the script earlier. If interested, the script is in the comments below. It is definitely not perfect, but it feels good enough uh, and quite nice to be able to do all this on Linux.